McGill's principal and vice chancellor, Heather Monroe Bloom, made the case for attracting more international students to Quebec in a speech delivered to the Conseil des Relations Internationales de Montréal. You know, my first uh, speech as uh, principal of McGill happened almost 10 years ago, and I stood before a group like this saying that in only a few months, I'd gained five pounds because the food here is so good. I was wearing color where if you'd seen me in Toronto, I would have been wearing gray or black or navy, and I'd kissed more than I had <laughs> in my entire life. Monroe Bloom laid out several arguments in favor of attracting more international students to Quebec, saying they're a source of talent and revenue for the province. International students are exactly what Quebec needs. They spend years in our institutions, they speak or are motivated to learn French, they know and embrace Quebec's values, and they are already integrating into our society. Collectively, we Quebecers have supported a portion of their education with our taxes, and collectively, we Quebecers benefit from the investment made elsewhere in their early training and from who they are today. In 30 years, Quebec is expected to have one of the oldest populations in the world. Quebecers need more health and social services and more value-added jobs. And if our population only grows at current rates, there will be even fewer people than today to hold these jobs. McGill's principal said it's a myth that raising tuition rates would drive away international students as well as Quebec students. If low tuition created better access for Quebecers, Quebec would lead the country in the percentage of young people receiving a university degree, but it does not. It is now amongst the lowest in Canada in terms of the percentage of its citizens who receive a university degree behind Nova Scotia, behind Ontario, the provinces with the highest tuition, though I'd like to say again, still reasonable. What matters is having both the quality and reputation of our universities and the availability of effective student support for those in need. Quality is what international students are seeking. It is also what Quebecers demand. Nobody wants to go to school for a poor quality of education, even if it's free. Monroe Bloom noted, however, that there's an unfortunate lack of recognition of the costs associated with recruiting and supporting international students. Under the current Quebec funding system, most of the tuition paid by students from outside Quebec returns to the government. With a few exceptions, McGill keeps only a small portion of the fees these students pay to support these students in their studies. Because of this, each year, McGill gives back around $55 million of its students' fees net that the government then redistributes across the rest of the Quebec university system. $55 million year after year. And while attracting students from abroad is a boost to Quebec's economy, recent trends show that fewer international students are choosing to study in Quebec. Quebec's share of Canada's international student population has decreased from 33% in 2001 to 25% in 2010. In contrast, British Columbia increased from 10% of all international students in Canada to 20%. Quebec needs a strategy, a clear strategy for making Quebec a global education and research destination or we will fall further behind. Quebec is known worldwide for the quality of its universities. Quebec is a prosperous nation, caring and also wise. Souhaitons-nous que ces phrases soient des mythes ou des réalités? C'est à nous de décider. Let's just do it. Merci beaucoup.